Hey guys, Shane here with eTrail.com. Today I have a 2007 StarCraft Homestead fifth wheel trailer. And I want to walk you through how to install the Global Link baggage door lock set. You may also know them as slam locks. Um, the nice thing about these is when you compare them to your standard locks, like come on some of your older campers and RVs, these tend to get wore out. They can be replaced, but um, sometimes they don't always hold in place. These will break off and it kind of can be a pain in the butt. So adding a setup like this to your doors is going to make it a lot easier. We're not going to have to worry about wondering whether we actually locked our doors or not. Once we let it go, we drop our door down, it's going to automatically latch into place. The whole system is going to be a metal construction with a nice black powder coat finish. So it's really going to go nicely with any color camper. This is actually a kit so it's going to come with the front part the handle and also the locking mechanism on the back there are other uh, options if you're just looking to replace the front part you can find those here at eTrailer.com as far as the installation process pretty simple and straightforward it's going to come with all the necessary hardware to get it installed this in my opinion is a very nice upgrade from your standard latches like this I think these are going to give you a much better sense of security knowing that when you let your door go, it's going to latch closed. That being said, let's walk you through how to get them installed. To start your installation, what I like to do is take the parts out. You're going to take this base, which is actually mounted on the inside of the door, and this part here is on a spring, so it's going to stick out farther. You notice there, there's a little line there. I like to push that back all the way up on the line so that when the whole thing is put together, that's where it's gonna be. Put a little zip tie around it. And we can take this, and what we don't want is we don't want this to be down too far. So I'm gonna use this as my template. So I'll pull this up to where this edge is right at the bottom of the door. And then what I, need, what I want to do is I'm going to measure between here and here and find the center. What I did is put a little mark there and get this as center as possible. We'll raise it up again to where this edge is at the bottom of our door. I'm going to take a drill bit that's small enough to go through this hole, this hole, and these two holes. We're going to drill all the way through the door. We're going to mark first. Once we get that, we can remove this. Go ahead and drill all the way through the door. And what I like to do is take the handle side, take a piece of cardboard, and if you take it and you push it down on a flat surface on a table, these four are gonna make an indention. Cut that square out, set it on top, and then what you want to do is you want to get it cut to where these, your cardboard is just on the outside of these tabs. So it'll look like that. This is basically going to be your door then. That gives us the exact cut that we're going to need to make on our door. We'll take this. We're going to even it out. Take a pencil. We're going to outline the inside of that cardboard. Then I'm going to take a large drill bit, big enough so that my uh, blade from my saw is going to fit into it, and I'm going to drill a hole in each corner of this box. And we don't have to get it all the way in the corner, that's fine. And we're going to take a saw and we're going to cut out that square. And then 
come back and trim off any extra that we missed. Once you get your hole cut out, you're gonna drop your handle in place, raise up your door. We're gonna take this, we're gonna take the zip tie off. And on the inside here, this latch is what I was talking about, this lever for your handle, and needs to sit on top of it. And then your bottom two uh, attachment points are gonna slide right into these grooves here. Just like that. All those four screws or bolts that bolt right through the bottom side into the top. I'll tighten it into place. Okay, we're not hanging up, so we're good there. Now we're gonna take this plate, we're gonna line it up with where the latch hits. It's gonna come with two screws mounted in place, but what I like to do, since it goes through metal, is take a very small drill bit and draw a pilot hole right through the center. we can drill our second hole. Once you get your strike plate put in place, go ahead, let your door close shut, make sure everything's working correctly. Repeat the process on any other doors or any other locks you may be installing. That's gonna do it for a look at and installation on the Global Link baggage door lock set on our 2007 StarCraft Homestead fifth wheel.